Welcome to another video from BFT in Greens Road, Dandenong South. I'm just going to quickly do a quick video for you, just to show you there our wireless Eris E R I S photo cell, a six wire configuration. We're using terminals one, two, six, seven, eight, and nine from our photo cell, going straight onto our control board. Okay, so I've got number one, which is my red cable. You can just see it there in the picture. Uh, being wired into 51. I got my black cable, which is number two on my photo cell, going into 50. So 51 and 50 is where I get my power out of the control board, whether it's a slider or a swinger, to go into uh, my photo cell to power it up. My yellow, which is number six from the photo cell, is going into number 52, into the orange terminal block. My last three cables, by going into my safety uh, red terminal blocks. So I've got seven, eight, and nine. So I've got seven as my blue, which is going into number 70 in my red terminal block, being shared by the two jumpers. You can see them there, the brown ones. My white one is going straight into number 72. If you can see that there in that little gap, that is coming out of number nine from my photo cell. And number 73, which is my green cable today, that is coming out of number eight on my photo cell. So hopefully that's made a bit of sense. That is our wiring, six wire configuration. So that's our six wire configuration. One, two, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now the reason why we do do that is because we want to prolong the life of the battery. Hold on to your seats and I'll zoom this uh, camera around so you can see the photo cell on the opposite side. Zoop, there we go. And there it is there, our battery side Aeris photo cell. I'll zoom in a bit more onto it. You can see it there. And the reason why we do use the six wire configuration, hold on to your seats again. There we go. Is because we want to prolong the life of the battery and have the photo cell only working when the gate is closing. So while it's opening or shut, uh, sitting in that uh, status, it's not consuming power. It will only start to consume power when the gate's fully open and sitting in the open position and while it's shutting. So that's why we get a long life out of our battery. All right, so the next step I will show you now once you've done your six wire configuration onto the control board is how to change the setting on the control board of the motor. But before that, uh, one final step what to do is you'll see that there are no jumpers uh, connected at all uh, onto my photo cells and the reason again why I do do that is to prolong the life of the uh, photo cell battery. What we need to do if we want to make sure that the photo cell is aligned to the opposite side you'll see just down here next to the LED one light there are a set of uh, two jumpers closest to the light or well, not two jumpers I should say there should be just uh, two silver legs there I'll bridge them out with this little jumper here in my hand I'll do that right now for you. Bear with me for a second. Okay, I've bridged that out. And what that does is when I move out of the way of the photo cell, you'll see now that I've got the LD2 light on and the flashing LD5 light on. In that status with those two solid lights and the flashing light, it means it is seeing the battery operated side on the other side of our showroom. And if I break that with my hand, you'll see that those lights will come on and off. Do that as your final step. Make sure that the two photo cells are seeing each other, but please do make sure you do take that jumper off. Okay, now that I've removed my jumper, again, to prolong the life of uh, my battery, there are no other jumpers connected at all on the wired side, none whatsoever, and none on the uh, battery side either. So what I do now is I'll go to the control board of the motor. Here we go here. And it's telling me at the moment that the unit is uh, closed, which it is. What we need to do is we need to go into the logic menu and change safe one to number five. And that is the tested photo cell functionality on closing only. So it means again, the battery will only work when the gate is closing. So two quick clicks of my OK button. There we go, straight into parameter. Depending on the version of board that you have, it may be four clicks till you see parameter come up. If by any reason 
you do do the two quick clicks and the word language comes up. What you need to do is just exit that menu because that is the simplified setup. Hit your plus and minus button together once to start again. So two quick clicks into your parameter, your middle button once, go down to logic and hit OK. Now with the middle button, we need to scroll down till we see the word safe one come up. Just take your time, go nice and easy, safe one. Don't go too fast because there are other safes there, safe two and safe three and so forth, okay? So go back up to safe one, there we go. Hit okay to enter safe one and make sure that we select 005 by pressing either the up or down button to get it to safe five. Once you've got it on safe five, hit okay. Allow that to program in, don't touch anything else. And then to get out of the menu, hit your plus and minus button two times together to go back out of the menu. And it'll either say C or O, depending if the gate's closed or open, what status it's in. So now this is the uh, testing mode. Let's give it a test and make sure it's working. Okay, let's give the gate a run now. I'll press my remote control. And you can see straight away, it comes up with PHCL. So that's letting everybody know that the photo cell is set for closing only. So if I break the photo cell while it's still opening, it won't change anything. The gate will keep on opening. Photo CL means that the photo cell is set for closing only. Now you'll see that the LD2 light flashed on then and went back off again because I'm breaking the beam. Now that the gate is fully open, the photo cell has come alive. It will start to uh, pick up the battery side and create a connectivity uh, across your driveway and a bit of a safety barrier as well. So this gate will automatically uh, close shortly. There you go again, the LD2 light came back on. I'm breaking the photo cell with my elbow as I'm doing this demonstration. So once the gate starts to close, um, it's registering there open and photo cell, PHCL, photo cell on closing only. Um, that is letting you know that the photo cell is working accordance and that I've got the photo cell broken so the gate won't shut um, automatically or onto a vehicle and all that sort of stuff. There we go, I've moved out of the way again. It's registered that the gate's open. I'll move into it, there you go, and it uh, registers again that I've broken the beam. So the gate will safely stay in the open position till it starts to run. Hopefully this video has made a bit of sense to you and it's helped you out in the field. Uh, looking forward to your feedback. Have an awesome day.